Hey VC, uh, Jeff back again. Um, to preface this, uh, preface, this uh, blah, 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 blah. preface this with uh, if you haven't already, I posted a new contest. Um, so for pushing to a two hundred subs, so that's gonna be um, I might link that below, but you can find it just by clicking on my channel. Probably I'm gonna forget to link it, but anyway. Jumping in, uh, it's time for the the weekly or so stack. Uh, so got got a little bit of oh, here and there on this one. Um, just jumping in. <laughs> yeah, this is. I think I'm, I might have shown this for. I don't know. I found this at a thrift. It's unusually clean for a thrift copy of uh, VG Plus all day long. So quite happy to have that a little piece of childhood. Um, Growing up, remember all the trading cards and all that. Uh, that, was, that was a fun find. It, I don't know. It's a fun record. Is it essential? I don't know. If you're a certain age, maybe. Uh, revisited this one. Um, that's the Joe McPhee. Nation Time. Um, so it's somewhere It falls somewhere between free jazz and spiritual jazz. and It's a little funk. Um, Highly, highly recommend this one if you've never heard it. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because it has shown up on the BC quite a lot, and I know I've shown it before. Um, and it's, it's like four and a half to a five in my book. That's, that's a really good album, worth checking out. So, um, Joe McVie, Nation Time, you know, I feel like that sort of thing. Um, it's not like a really harsh uh, free jazz, so don't be frightened by that. Um, this was a thrift sign I could <laughs> leave behind for a couple bucks. Um, there's Matrona VCs, A Country Rock, um, really solid album. It's not something I'd listen to all the time, but I'll probably hold on to it for a while. Yeah, I paid a couple bucks for it, so whatever. Yeah, it's a four in my book, but am I going to listen to it a lot? I don't know. Um, yeah, this was part of a, this stash I got from my friend. Yeah, that's close to the edge. Um, not a big prog guy. Yeah, it's all right. I don't know. It's all right. <laughs> not not my thing. For me, it's a four. But it's it's not one I'm I'm definitely not going to be listening to it that often. I might actually go in the sales stack at some point. Uh, this was kind of an amusing uh, one I got from my buddy um, Miko. This is uh, Star Trek and Black Hole um, Disco. You know Miko. Uh, kind of fun album. Essential, no, but fun. It's, I'm I'm going to keep that with my <laughs> soundtracks. So that's just a fun one. Is it, as, is it as good as the Star Wars one? Probably not. Uh, this was a fairly new, new purchase. Um, I noticed these are kind of running low on stock, so I went ahead and ordered it. I don't know if there's more coming out. I don't know how limited this is, but definitely one of my uh, favorite uh, Sunraws. I don't know if it's my favorite favorite, but it's a really good one. Um, this is the one that's got uh, Nuclear War on it, so so, well, if you believe the liner notes, he was, in, you know, he was influenced by um, like hip hop on it. <laughs> it's it's very uh, profanity laden, but um, yeah, the free jazzy stuff, uh, especially, were really good. Um, I think this was '82, and it was a very, very limited edition in its original pressing. So, um, yeah, this is, for me, this is a must-have. Um, probably like a four and a half all day long on this one. It's, it's definitely one of his better outings. But yeah, like finding a, an original could be really hard to pick that up um, if you're at least in <laughs> a little bit intrigued because you're not going to find it. Um, yeah, this one is, um, yes, yeah, so a Guru Guru UFO. Um, yeah, Prog Rock, you can throw it in there. Um, yeah, it has some kind of droney. Uh, noise uh, leanings as well. It's, you know, fairly experimental. I'm surprised this one gets uh, shown in the BC as much as it does because it, you know, it's it's definitely one of those not for everyone albums. Perhaps I don't know. Um, but yeah, this apparently these ones, the OHRs, are bootlegs. Did not know that when I ordered it. Um, there's th this is the single disc version, and I believe there's a color two disc version, which uh, a lot of people have been showing in the BC, but I believe they're both bootlegs? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it's a great album. It's very solid four and a half on me, uh, from me all day long. Uh, this I picked up a long time ago. I just <laughs> never got around to it. Uh, environments is supposedly the, the first, you know, major 
the list on the first major label. Um, we got um, field recordings, album kind of thing. Um, or at least the first major one. Uh, I don't know. Um, so of course there's multiple volumes. It's, it's pretty nice. It's just one side's like uh, uh, just ocean, kind of ocean sounds, and the other side's uh, like for uh, optimal aviary. Yeah, it's just like a forest with birds and everything. It's just one of those albums you just put on, chill in your armchair after a hard day, or it's background music, or back, background sounds. <laughs> you could pretty much do the same thing with your cell phone these days. This did get, I think, um, somebody repressed these lately. Uh, I think it was, um, oh, who, who's the one that did, like, Unwound and um, Numero. I think Numero did this. But that's, yeah, that's original. Yeah, you can get them cheap, whatever. Um, and then, well, let's see. Let's stick with vinyl. Yeah, this was a super one. I uh, got this from my buddy. Promo of... House of Horrors by Merv Griffith. Um, these go for, for quite a bit of money, and I know by now. Um, yeah, it's a really fun, um, kind of, kind of surf-tinged uh, monster mash kind of inspired track. Um, pretty rare, I guess, and highly um, sought after. And yeah, if this is a really good one <laughs> of all the stuff I got from my buddy. Um, th this one, I that's on Merv Griffith. Huh? Whatever, man. We'll see what that is. Uh, but yeah, this, that was one of the best ones I got, actually. It's, it's a really good track if you can hunt it down. So, um, yeah, House of Horrors by Merv Griffith. You can uh, you can actually stream that on um, yeah, that, that Merv Griffith, I believe. And then how many people are named Merv Griffith? Um, but you can stream that on uh, YouTube for sure. It's a, that's a worth listening to. Uh, this one, I think, I think I got it from my buddies. Yeah, same guy. Um, incense and Peppermints, Strawberry Alarm Clock, backed with uh, Birdman and Alcatraz. Trash, not Traz. Um, yeah, so solid one all together. I, I really need to get uh, the album <laughs> of this. Ne I just never see it. I, I, I don't know. I guess it's more of a West Coast thing. Never see it on the East Coast. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, really solid album. Of course, you know it. Don't need to go into that. Uh, I've shown this a long time ago, but. Um, Eve's, uh, that's the actual band name. Eve's Sun Ace. The Y. Y V E S Sun Ace. Um, how I would describe it, uh, kind of as a noise rock band. Uh, it's like a slower Pussy Galore. <laughs> if you, it sounds a lot like Pussy Galore if you slow them down. Um, yeah, the album. This is a, it's a 45, but it's recorded at uh, 33. If you put it on 45, it sounds like mice. If you put it at 33, it sounds like slow down pussy or So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 33 because you can actually make out the lyrics. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, seven tracks. That's a it's a pretty decent one. Uh, would I go out of my way to find it? No. But if uh, yeah, if you're a massive pussy gore fan or something, I don't know. Maybe it's worth getting. Um, maybe Sean. I don't know. Uh, I don't think they go for a lot, but that's a fun one. It's on the uh, Kill Shaman label. Which I just bought out pretty much everything they had in stock. That was like a dollar or two when they went out of business a few years back, a few years ago. Um, and I got this uh, great CD box set from my friend. Complete stack singles. I don't. I'm not 100% positive that they're complete because I'm not sure all the B-sides are in there. But um, it's it's a fairly uh, complete uh, box set as it comes with. Nice thick book with uh, goes into the history and all the of the bands. You know, there's a few mystery ones in there. Like, yeah, they threw some money at Stacks and they recorded them. We don't know anything about these guys. Uh, kind of albums. Like, they only made a few hundred. Um, but yeah, I've been. I'm a couple CDs in. It's a nine CD set, uh, like so. You know, in, in each one's like you know seventy some minutes. So it's pretty dense, but uh, yeah, th this is a really good set if you can hunt one down. Um, I don't think they're like super duper cheap, but you can probably get them for about what they went for originally, which may or cheaper, maybe, I don't know. I, I think they go for in the 60 to 100 range. But uh, yeah, if you like stacks, uh, it's probably worth hunting down. Um, yeah, let's just jump in here. This one was super duper. Brett Snyder... Um, Chrono Lalea, I guess. 
Um, so Randy might, it's not going to show up, it's just like a very white tape. See, that's going to focus, focus. Yeah, I don't know. Brett uh, Schneider, I guess. C uh, S C H N E I D E R. Chrono something. Chrono level blah, whatever. Um, I think it's only tape, and I think it was fairly limited, and I think it's from like Belgium or something. Um, it's kind of like a yeah drone ambient um, kind of deal. It's a uh, pretty chill, super duper 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 album. I love this one. Um, this one's like a four and a half to five in, in there. So um, might be a little too mellow for you, Sean. But I don't know, but it's, I did really like that one. I can't remember if I listened to this one or not, but yeah, Sean said this this one a long time ago. Vaporwave, twenty ninety six. I'm still not fully on the vaporwave camp, Sean. I, I like it, but I don't love it. Um, I don't know, yeah, what the deal with that particular album is. Continuing on, now let's get into CDs. We visited some and got some new to me ones or repurchased or what's gifted at the moment. Um, yeah, this one, I guess, I, I forget, I believe I actually saw them on this tour. So Mud Honey, Piece of Cake, this was their first uh, major label <laughs> album. Um, and definitely a lot of uh, FEUs to the <laughs> major labels to prove that they weren't selling out. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, there's there's certain there tracks in here. They're just, you know, they're just messing with the label for sure. But it, it does have some of their uh, interlaced between those. It does actually have some of their best material in there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, even the vinyl goes for kind of cheap. I might hunt one down later. But for me, uh, it's it's kind of a nostalgia trip too. Is it a is it a essential? Oh, I don't know. For me, it's like a four. But for most people, it's probably like three and a half, just because there there is so much uh, of those um, kind of screwy tracks that are just messing with the label. And um, I think if you watch the the Mud Honey documentary too, they they pretty much say they were messing with uh, re reprise. Uh, got a copy of Magical Mystery Tours, like a, maybe a late 80s copy. Sounds great. Great album. Not a massive Beatles fan. I don't need to go into that. Yeah. Um, picked this up at Thrift a long time ago. Von Jovi Crush. Other than the opening track, which was It's My Life, it's not really for me at all. Two and a half for me. Um, Dianoga. Yeah, this one's awesome. Um, this one is, what's it called? Battle Champions. It's got these little uh, plastic uh, army men all over it. Um, yeah, so it's uh, early, uh, not not early, but it's early math rock, which would be uh, mid to late 90s. Um, so part of that whole scene. Uh, pretty chill. Randy, you might like this. <laughs> uh, so it's pretty chill math rock, you know, fairly repetitive, but... Um, pretty chill most of the time, um, but they can rock out. Uh, so, you know, if you like your uh, Rodan or you like your, um, I don't know, but it's, it, it's a really good album. Um, at least a four, four and a half, maybe. Uh, revisited uh, Natural Snow Buildings. Um, I don't know where this falls under catalog, but it has like, uh, one CD is like 50-50. You know, it's, it's a French uh, drone band. Um, and they, they do kind of fall into the folky stuff sometimes too. Uh, so it's 50-50 male-female um, band out of France, I believe. And then, uh, yeah, one disc is like 50-50, there's like solo stuff, and one disc is the actual um, natural snow buildings. Um, this is early, this is the first pressing actually, um, which is harder to get a hold of. I, I got locked into it, ordered Amazon used, and I, I got the original version, which is actually the better one, I guess nicer packaging, um, some nice illustrations, um, great album, four and a half all day long. Um, so it's kind of a little bit droney, a little bit modern, lo-fi folk, um, really nice, chill, relaxing album. Falls into that same category. I've shown this before. Um, Fur Night, really good album, holds up to multiple listens. Uh, four and a half all day long. I do need to get their other album. Um, Again, nice, chill, kind of drummy stuff. Uh, Alexander Turnquest, um, was it In the Twilight? Never quite focuses. I don't know. I think it's a lot of, a lot of it's the lighting in this room. It's very dark in here. 
but um, yeah, really solid, kind of droney stuff. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, this was a thrift find. Uh, this Roy Orbison Greatest Hits. Um, so I was listening to this, like, it sounds a little different than I remember. <laughs> um, it sounds a lot better than I remember. Um, so what this is, is I think this was like very late 80s. I guess when, you know, CDs were starting to really take off, he basically went in the studio and re-recorded all of his stuff. So these are actually modern 80s, you know, digital, I guess they're digital recordings. It doesn't, I don't think it says on here if it's straight to digital, but I want to say it is. Um, so it's, it's, it's a nice little bookend. Um, it doesn't have like Mystery Girl or any of that stuff on there. Um, a little disappointing. I kind of wish they had that on here, um, but yeah, it, it's pretty much like the um, the original. You know, I think it was like a mid '60s release. That greatest hits. It's pretty much all the same stuff, but it's all re-recorded. Um, sounds really great because it's you know modern recording. Um, but yeah, it's I don't know. I, I, in a way, I kind of prefer the original recordings, but these do sound really great. And I don't think this goes for a lot of money. So it's just called Greatest Hits. And I, uh, In Dreams is the, I guess, the title of the Greatest Hits. Uh, excellent, excellent. Um, again, Math Rocky. It is Math Rock. Uh, Godhead Silo, <laughs> Elephant Titus of the Night. Um, yeah, I got this from my buddy. Yeah, these guys were big in the 90s. Uh, math Rock, really rock hard. Um, you know, it's you know, it's part unwound power from Melvins, I guess. I don't know. It's really, um, I want to say they were in two when they were recording this. I want to say they were at two some, like a bass and drum, you know, kind of earthy or whatever. Uh, so this is kind of a weird album in that it's like half uh, from like previous EPs and comps, and the other half is original. But uh, definitely one of their really best albums. It just really rocks hard. Uh, check out that title track. Yeah. Godhead Silo. One word. Uh, yeah, this is a classic, uh, meters, this actually showed up on, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, what's that music magazine that everyone likes to listen to, Pitchwork, um, it showed up in my email box, like, you gotta have this on, it's like, oh, I was just listening to that, um, yeah, I listened to this a lot as a, um, growing up, I guess, in the, in the 90s, this is the digital remaster, early 90s, uh, I got it from my friend's collection, never had it myself, I, I might have had, a, like, a taped copy I made off it or something, but um, yeah, that's a five. Man. Look, what's it called? Look up, look uh, PP. I believe it's their second album. Their self-titled being their first. Um, some more kind of math rock stuff out of Italy. I uh, just found a cheapo used copy of their first album, Rosetta Out of Colors. Not as good as their later stuff. Um, you know, uh, female vocals, kind of math rock, you know, has a little bit of a harder sound to it. Um, but so it gets soft, and of course, by female vocals, it's not screamy, screechy vocals. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, it, yeah, if you can get it for a few bucks, which I think I did on this one, I think I just like five bucks or something ridiculous sh um, shipped. But um, yeah, you can, you can get a lot of their newer stuff repressed recently, um, sub 20, I want to say. So those are probably the ones to check out. And this one is really good too. Um, so if you like meters, you know, that funk, that 70 funk, um, this one's just as good. Like it, I had these back to back and like, if you hadn't told me this wasn't the meters, I would have just thought it was a newer meters recording. Um, so Galactic and this is Crazy Horse Mongoose, I guess is the title. Um, that's pretty damn close to a five. Um, so if you like meters, you like funk, you like that 70s funk. Yeah, it, they have a couple albums or so. Like, like, more than a couple, I think. But um, yeah, Galactic, I don't think they ever got big, but it's really good stuff. Um, yeah, if you like that 70s funk, check them out. I may or may not have a vinyl release, I don't know, because I, I think they came out in like the late 90s, which is pretty much when uh, LPs were already dead. And yeah, back then, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, I lived near a lot of record stores, but it was really hard getting hold of new vinyl. And, um, yeah, Tower Records and just like, them and uh, like Smash and DC. It was, like, it was all very few things. Everything was special order if it was a major label anyway. Um, this one, I believe, it was on Capricorn. Oh, it's an HD CD too. Ah, check that out. Okay. So, yeah, I guess you want to get this on CD if it's HD CD.
Galactic. Check it out if you like funk. So that is um, all I got for you guys. So make, if you haven't already, check out my contest video. And I look forward to seeing your uh, your entries. Try to make it a try to make it a fun one. Um, yep. Have a good one, guys.